Hey, this is Dan. I'm the uh, founder and designer for Flipper. We have a new version, V9. All of our new V9s and above have a different setup. So this is our new setup video. The model number is on the back, but anything that is shipped now, if this is a new purchase, this applies to V9 and above. First, we start with our devices on. We have a TV here and a cable box. Then we slide the door down on Flipper reveal the zero through nine and the setup buttons. Always recommend checking the preset button, the preset code. Flipper is preset to common, to common TVs like Vizio and LG. This is a Samsung, but I'm gonna test it. So press volume. The volume is not working, so we need a code. You'll look at the code list. You see Samsung is 3831. So then we press and hold TV until the light turns solid. Enter three, eight, three, one, light turns off. Test volume. And you can see the volume is working on the left-hand side of the TV. Next, we go to the cable box. This cable box is um, Aris, provided by Spectrum. They use a lot of different boxes, so it's often helpful to look for the manufacturer. This is usually on a small white label on the back or underneath. So we test the preset, press channel, and it works. So Flipper is preset to this box. Now, if you do not have a cable box and you are only operating an over-the-air TV, you want to set Flipper for TV only. So you would press and hold TV until the light turns solid and then enter 970, the light will turn off. That activates the channel buttons for the TV only. Otherwise, Flipper is preset to work a TV and a cable box. So we'll test all the functions, right? Volume, working the TV, channel, working the box, power, works both. And we turn it back on. These devices take time to power up and power down, so you just need to give it a We're little going time. To have an explosion of cases of coronavirus. Cut. Just yeah.